Yeah, but let me explain something to you, man. What's this thing about letting them play three minutes, three minutes out the court? Like, this some bullshit. Like, they're trying to lose on purpose, huh? Listen, we know Zion. He had to dip out for a little bit. He left the bubble. He was gone 13 days. So when he left, he was in shape. But when he came back, he wasn't in shape. The no fact more. is, the fact is, Zion got to stop eating. <laughs> so if he wants to be the great that everybody loves and everybody thinks he got to stop. No question. Agree 100%. He got to stop living like a high schooler and start living like a professional. Take things seriously. Yeah, man, and and life in that bubble, man. I'm glad everybody's healthy. Ega Balanga, what's up, baby? Um, future champion. Um, I'm glad nobody's sick. Everybody's respecting the rules. Right. Uh, no positive. I'm so happy basketball is back. Basketball is back. 344. Players tested. Nobody's tested positive since everybody got down there in the bubble. Thank God. Baseball need to learn from this because they trying to travel. I don't think it's going to be a baseball season because they, they, they get too sick. I'm going to tell you like this. There's a thing called arrogance. And in sports, you got to say Major League Baseball and the NFL are probably the two most arrogant leagues. They had an opportunity to make their own bubble. Then Major League Baseball said, no, we're not going to do it. We're going to play in Major League Parks. So Roger Goodell, NFL, I hope you're taking notes because if you think it's bad with baseball, wait till the football players get out there and start, you know, knocking heads off. Nah, they better stay in the bubble. They better, they, they, they better figure the same situation out. No question. Now, I hope they figure it out. The NBA, Thank God we got basketball. Hey. And tell me about, I know you're a big hip-hop fan, bro. No tell question. Tell me about the purple chick. Yo, yo, okay, okay, 1995, you know, growing up, I couldn't wait to get to the Sam Goody to go cop the tape. I had the purple tape, Raekwon, Ghostface, only built for Cuban links, so many jewels in there, lyrics was crazy, beats was crazy. Yo, I still remember going to cop that joint and playing it and playing it and playing it. Yeah, shout out my brother Raekwon, I, he's emotional today. He's no never really emotional. He's calm and collected, but I've been talking back and forth with him, and, you know, I could tell my brother he's he's really emotional today. He really, uh, his heart is big right now. He feels the love. He feels everybody supporting him, uh, and and it's a big thing. It's a, it's a major accomplishment, man. Classic no, album. No, no right, let me get these new artists on, and let me hear Make what it happen. got to say. Love right, my play. brother. I'm on Ro NBA Parish. TV. Hey, you heard it first, boy. Rope Parish. Here we go now. Yo, Dan, I'm looking for this microphone terrorist because we don't see him. DJ Bliss, Dubai, what's up, baby? Yeah, that purple tape. Yeah, yeah, RZA blessed them. And, they, you know, they the tightest team in the game. I might have to start this shit over and start it back up. Because look, Danny, this shit. I don't know how you do it. Yeah, I'm going to turn this off and turn it back on because it's not letting me find the request. All right. 